Thank you for your interest in the Michigan Dental Association's peer review process. This tutorial discusses the mediation phase of the MDA's peer review system. Once a peer review case is opened, the first step is the mediation phase. In the mediation phase, the goal is to find a mutually acceptable agreement between the complainant, usually a patient, and the MDA member dentist. This phase involves negotiation. There is no determination of any wrongdoing by any party. Any type of offer can be made and accepted during this phase. The reviewer mediator should be familiar with the case details by reading through the documentation that has been received. When talking to all parties, the reviewer should be objective and not let opinions get in the way of helping the parties get to a win-win situation. As with any disagreement, the truth lies somewhere between the two sides. Negotiations may take several calls to both parties. If the patient and doctor can come to terms, the case is considered mediated and is closed. In mediation, the patient should be contacted first. The patient can give a summary of what the complaint is, but more importantly, the patient can indicate what he or she would like to see as a result of the peer review complaint. The mediator should ascertain if there is something specific that the member dentist can do that would make the patient happy. After speaking to the patient, the dentist is contacted. Of course, he or she will give a perspective on the complaint and has the opportunity to consider the request made by the patient. If the doctor does not agree to the terms, a counteroffer can be made to the patient. It may take several rounds of negotiations to come to an agreement. If the two sides cannot agree, the case proceeds to the review phase of the peer review process. A few things to remember about mediation. During mediation, there is no determination about who is right or who is wrong. During mediation, no evaluation of treatment is done. There is no determination about the treatment's quality or appropriateness. In this phase of peer review, there is no limitation to what can be negotiated and agreed upon by the parties. This is in contrast to the limitations set when a formal decision is made by the peer review committee. In a formal decision, if the committee decides that monies are to be returned to the patient, the maximum dollar amount that may be refunded is limited to what was actually paid to the dentist for the service in question. Although the mediation phase is technically at the beginning of the process, parties may agree to a mediated settlement at any time during peer review, as long as a final decision has not been published to the parties. Member dentists who are subject to a peer review case should be aware that a mediated case will still be included for review if the member dentist has had three cases in five years. Thank you again for your interest in the peer review process. We hope that this tutorial has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions, you may contact the Michigan Dental Association at peerreview at michigandental.org or 800-589-2632.